I've just been to B&Q and I bought all the timber to do the bed now. And I've also bought the linoleum in B&M and also a blind to go up on the front, a blackout blind. I've got this little table too. Um, we're actually going away tomorrow, so there's been a bit of a rush. So I've just got this kind of temporary table just to sit in in front of the seat, at the front of the van. So just let's get on with this and get it all done. It shouldn't take me too long. And then after that, I've just got the finishing off to do. Because I need to be able to take the bed in and out, because I need to use the vehicle as a van, I make these brackets and I'm just going to screw them in approximately here and over here and then I'll make the frame of the bed out of this timber here with a bit of MDF so that I can put the bed in and take it out as need be. So I've just these little end bits to trim off now and that's it ready, ready to go in.
That's the brackets end now. And I'm going to paint paint over them in black. And I'll just hide them a little bit. And then we're ready for the the bed frame. Very graceful, but it's in. So here we go. I'm going to fit the flooring, and I can never fit the flooring in the house. Um, it's a really difficult job. I don't know how the guys do it. The proper floorers, so always cut it short or cut it too long. You know, big gaps around the edge, but. The way I do it, I make a paper template out of uh, backing paper. And once I've got that, I'll then lay the template on the uh, on the laminate. I call it laminate. It's just vinyl flooring, and this is just cheapest chips vinyl flooring from uh, B and M. And I've got my dirty feet marks on it already. So I'll just put the template on this, cut round about it, and in theory, it should fit like a glove. That's the template ready. There, that's it in. It's quite snug in a few places, but I'll just trim it a little bit just to make it fit exactly. And uh, give it a wee clean. And I'm uh, quite happy with that. And I'll probably glue it along the edges. And I'll, I'll also paint these edges here. Um, or I might put a little bit of uh, angled plastic trim or bead along there. And th the same with the front step as well. But uh, it's looking pretty good. And uh, I'll cut the holes for the seat now and get the seat put in. Once the seat's put in, then I can get the bed put back in. Well, there we have it. And I've got the bed in, and I've got the seat in, and the bed fits in lovely and snug. And you can get your head right into this bit, 
and you can get your feet right into this bit here and I'm six foot and I can fit in comfortably and I've got the flooring in there which is nice and neat and to look in the side here I've got the seat bolted in here uh, the, to get this bolt in here you've got to drop the tank um, I'm not going to do that for uh, tomorrow but I'll do that for you know finishing off for next weekend and I bought this table in uh, not B&Q B&M <laughs> bargains normally I would have a fold out table there but I quite like this one because you can just take it out and at night you can put the put the potty in there if you want and it's kind of out of the way because this is really it's a single berth, berth but the two of us are going away and uh, one can sleep up there and one can actually sleep in down in there so if I'm away cycling or, or you know with the boys or um, with my partner she can sleep up here and I can sleep in there um, I'm going to put an LED lamp in here I've got a hook over there and a hook up here as well uh, I've also got a, an LED lamp and I've used these before and they're, they're really good you know they'll stay charged for a, you know at least three days away and they've actually been away for five days and uh, they've lasted all week you know rather than wiring in a battery uh, into the system because it's just a day van you know for overnight sort of maximum of three possibly five nights away so what's left to do because we're going away tomorrow I've still got things to do and uh, what I've got left to do is carpet the door here and I don't know whether to carpet this bit and leave this bit grey or carpet this bit and leave that white but probably carpet this bit to, and leave that bit grey I would think and I've also got the two back doors to do as well but this one needs a little bit of tension before I do anything with it I'll need to buff, up, buff all this down and I probably will carpet this bit and leave this grey So there you have it, my day van is almost complete and um, we're going away in it tomorrow as I said and I think I've got it to a level whereby we can go away and everything's here um, we just have a, we use a separate cooker um, one that you can, just a little um, Halfords uh, cooking hob thing <laughs> and, I can, and I can take this table outside and cook outside if need be um, I use a portable shower and um, we have a little porta potty and just carry our food and clothes and that's about it really um, it's really easy, it's a really, when you, you have a day van like this, you know, it doesn't come with all the baggage of a, a fully done out van and I much prefer this. And the way I've done it, in that uh, if I need it for my work, I can take the bed out or I can unbolt the seat and get, uh, and get uh, boards and sheets and ladders in if need be. But generally I leave them up because I can get my ladders in underneath here and, uh, and any boxes or anything that I need to carry in the back. So I'm quite pleased with it. Um, We'll see how it goes in the next two or three days and uh, I think I'll just cut this video short here and I'll do all the finishing touches um, for the next time. So hopefully uh, that's helped anybody out who's, because uh, I've never really done anything like this before uh, and hopefully it's helped anybody out, you know, all the sort of pitfalls that you come across and uh, it is quite hard work. I've worked hard today to get to get it to a level where, whereby we can go away tomorrow. Um, but it's worthwhile because it's um, the the black van that I had. I really enjoyed taking it away, and it's really good for nights out. You know, if you're walking or camping. Um, oh, as a little afterthought, um, you know, some of you might be wondering why I've done everything black in here. Um, well, the reason is because it's a day van. You know, when you go away, you really want to sleep well, and I find that uh, I've got little plastic. Um, blackout blinds that I use and I've got this roller blind which I'm going to fit on the front here and it rollers down uh, and it gets really dark in here and it's really easy to sleep you know when you go up uh, north in Scotland during the summer it stays light all night you can actually go outside and you know in the middle of the night and it's still light it's amazing if anybody's never experienced that you want to get away up north and experience it and uh, and the northern lights and all that sort of thing but we are heading away over to the west over to Argyll and uh, even at this time of year you know it'll be it'll be pretty light all night and with it all being black in here it gets uh, it gets nice and dark at night so you can really sleep well so if you've enjoyed the video thumbs up and um, keep looking 
because um, part five, I think it will be, will be coming along soon, hopefully within a week, where, where I managed to finish the whole lot off, and I still got to, to, to finish off the outside as well, with some nice Renault Sports stripes. So, thumbs up, please subscribe, and we'll see you soon.